I've always been known for my high quality printing. A few months back, uh, Creality sent me the Sonic Clipper Pad. Actually, they, they want me to help you people with that, but that's another story. It was my uh, thought to take the Sonic Pad and um, not use it for fast printing. I'm not interested in fast printing. I'm interested in high quality printing. And I thought, you know, since the Sonic Pad could give you good results at a fast speed, it should be able to give you a very good um, print at regular speed, you know, which I typically print around 40, 45 millimeters a second, something like that. This is the new tree, <laughs> tree supports by Cura. This is their 5.3 version. If you're interested, that's, uh, that's what that is. So anyways, you know, they sent me the clipper pad to play with, and um, I did this print, which came out very well. It's going to take a minute or two to get these supports off. Why not go there right now? There is a uh, cat mask that goes on the side of this head. I have that printed up, too. This happens to be the gray kit new filament I've been trying out. I'm pretty particular about my filaments because um, sometimes if you get a filament, especially gray, you'll see like color bands show up in your print, you know, you're printing nice and then all of a sudden there's a lighter shade of gray, so I don't know, this, this seems to be a very stable color. Some nice texturing in this model and the clothing materials. There is actually a skin uh, skin texture in the model. I know it's a little difficult to see, but there is a uh, skin texture on the model. Some models, you know, they just produce a smooth model, but this actually has a skin tone. As you look at the eyes, you see the difference between the texture of the eye and uh, the face there. I was very surprised to see these earrings come out correctly, and that's kind of why I printed it upside down also. A very minimal uh, contact surface there, and yet, you know, you're building all of this off of that surface. So, this, this is the uh, Ender 3 V2, and uh, we didn't knock our earrings off, which is nice. Or in nice. See the texture in the model. Very, very nice. This is actually a little bit bigger, this model. Probably about this tall. And there's a base. And there's a f set of flowers that come up. I didn't I didn't print the whole thing yet. I might go back and, and uh, redo this. Now that I know I'm getting uh, this kind of results. Anyways, just want to let you know. The, you know, the clipper pad is an uh, interesting device. I don't have any of the technical skills with it yet, but uh, I did some high-speed printing, and uh, it does take away the ringing on some of those surfaces, you know, where you're coming off a, a change in direction, and you see a ripple for, a, you know, a few millimeters. So it does get rid of that. I don't know if I'm ever going to try to print high speed, high quality. I don't know if those two things can actually exist at the same time. <laughs> yeah, actually, let me let me show you what we got going on up here. There is a nice uh, flower set on the top of her head. Oh, that actually didn't take long. Let's see the flowers on top of her head. Got to give credit to Cura. You know, they came out with this new tree support. You know, I, I, I typically use an earlier version of Cura for uh, some other purposes. We got the hair bun. I don't know what that is. 
we got the hair bun up there. So, all in all, I would say that is quite nice. Print slow, save your time sanding. I don't like sanding, I just print nice and don't have to do any uh, post processing, you know. Take care. Happy printing. I'm going to put the little cat on the side. Uh, we'll shoot some better pictures.